Hello. How are you doing, YouTube? We're going to be playing in the Modern Challenge today. It's the 18th. <clears throat> May 18th Modern Challenge. We're going to be running this aggro variant of Karn, Sideboard, Pyro, Prism. We have the deck in front of us. We have a couple Cavernous Souls, a plethora of Mountains. We've cut the Ruins. Ruin ruins. We have a couple extra Voids here. Exactly one extra. So mana base in itself is fine and normal for the most part, just those slight changes. We are going down one bridge here, which makes me a little bit nervous, but we're going to try that. We've added an extra braid, kind of more as that removal piece. Otherwise, we have four Karns, two Chandras. We have the eight Rabble package with uh, three War Bosses and a uh, Kranko as five through eight. Sideboard-wise, we have Eidolons and Angers to clear out and get around some of the more Storm, Phoenix, and Human matchups with either board wipes or doing damage to our opponent. We're going to try to sure up that burn matchup as well if we run into it. Hazrits for Jund or Black Green. We have a Chroma here for Blue White. We still want to play this. And then we have a few artifacts here, Torpor, Liquid Metal, Lattice, Bridge to fetch with Karn. We're going to see how it goes. We may play the full thing, we may not, it depends on how we do. But one thing we know, we're definitely playing the very beginning. Game one. Let's play some magic. It's a bit early. You might see me take a bite or two. Got that got that cereal. We woke up maybe a <clears throat> maybe a touch late. <laughs> Alright, we we'll lose the dice roll here on our first matchup of the day. I believe there was a hundred and maybe ten ish players, so that looks like it'll be Seven, eight rounds? But we'll see. We'll see if we get to them. Alright. Uh, this one I do like... I do like... <clears throat> being able to turn one Blood Moon. It's a little risky, because after that I'm not doing a whole lot. We probably keep the Desperate Ritual and I get rid of the Abrade. That's what I'm thinking. That way when we draw our second land I can Rabble Master behind it. We'll see if my opponent has their basics and or thought seize type effect. If they have a thought seize type effect, we'll definitely play Rabble Master here. This is a good start for us. Perfect. Usually, and that's a great draw, usually a black white opponent is a taxes with Thalia and other things. If they have a mana tithe, we actually have this covered, which is kind of crazy. Normally we wouldn't. We do have the follow-up of the Rabble Master. The top deck of the land was extremely good for us. We should be able to close this one out, assuming they don't have a basic here. So Concealed Courtyard's typically Thalia, Leon, and Arbiter, Eldrazi, because this creates... Uh, well, this one doesn't create, but Caves caves will create... Uh, caves will create colorless mana. I suppose they're not necessarily strictly Eldrazi taxes because this one doesn't create the colorless mana, although they do have lands that don't. They did whiff on a land here, so they must have a bunch of two drops is my guess. I'm guessing those two drops were extremely powerful because they wouldn't have kept a single lander, although we did it, but we had a turn three play here. All right, looks like Blood Moon gets us the distance here. <clears throat> Blood Moon plus Rabble Master. In fact, the Rabble Master maybe would have just gotten Path. If I started with that, I'm not sure we would have had to worry too much against our opponent's start there. All right, Hazard looks interesting to me. Um, typically, this kind of deck has things that I'm going to worry about with the Anger. Uh, it can also have stuff for Torp Orb. We're going to go with it's like a Flicker, Eldrazi, Taxes black white type of deck so I'm going to sideboard like that which means I'm going to be getting rid of basically rabble master in this matchup um, because we're not confident that is necessarily where we want to be I'm going to also take out a chalice I can see walking blister being all right I'm taking the chalice out because although chalice on one would be nice we're starting to play a little closer to what I'd like to call competitive where you evaluate if you're on the play or the draw, and we're being a little bit smarter about that. Is it gonna pay off? I have no idea. My opponent could be white, black, poxes, and, and I'll need the Rabble Masters. We, we saw one land that game. 
We're going to okay. assume it's creature, though, because usually black-white is creature. Token strategies would be good mm -hmm. to have this against, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. We do have Karn to get us the bridge. Chandra's just fine. We do mm -hmm. still have a bit of an aggro package as well. So having to sideboard a little more broadly here um, than I would normally like to. If I knew exactly what we were up against, you could be leaving in Rabble Masters. I would maybe be ditching some of the Abrades if they're big creatures or something of that sort. All right, game two. Game two, we have a single land, not much else behind it. We're going to mulligan this. Uh, my opponent's probably more likely to keep something with an Inquisition or Thoughtseize. If they have that, plus another Inquisition or Thoughtseize, it's just Chalice mm -hmm. and then... Whatever they don't care about. If they have removal, they won't worry about this. The anger, if they have creatures. Two four drops here in one land. This is not guaranteed on turn four. It's very rare, actually, without some, some help from our deck. So we're going to mulligan this. My opponent mulligans as well. We're going to keep this because it actually gives us the bridge and the moon. It's both on turn one. We do get a scry as well. We can decide if I need to get rid of maybe a land or something here. We can put this on the top. We can play this out, and I'm going to get rid of my mountain here. I have red mana through through the, the gemstone. I'm hoping my opponent doesn't skip their first turn, but they do. I'm a little concerned for my opponent. We'll go ahead and scry here. My opponent might be waking up this morning as well. It is important to eat your breakfast to be focused and all that. We'll bottom gemstone here. I'm gonna go ahead and ritual out this. If they have just black mana and thought sees my bridge away, they, they do that. That's totally fine. We don't get another scry here, unfortunately. It's a basic planes. We will be getting this bridge out. They could have mana tithe. I'm gonna not play around it though. I don't think there's a reason to play around it. Okay, we get that to stick here. So basic planes, I like I said, I think my opponent skipped. Urborg's a bit of an interesting one. That that kind of leans a little more towards a little more towards something of like a pox list. They do help us out here. Uh, we get this void. I don't know if I want this land. I could take the land here. Knowing that I'm getting closer and closer, I could attempt to liquid metal as well. I think I'm going to put this on top of my library. I'm going to play out my Karn here. I do know that if I fetch and they have a Thought Seize, they can take it. We're going to risk that here. Because if they don't, then we liquid metal and we keep them to three lands. And we have the land behind this which puts us one more turn away from Lattice Lock. We have the bridge to protect us from any creatures. They know this is sitting in hand. I'd like to knock them off a card here if possible. Instead of going after the bridge, they have to kind of come after my liquid metal coating here. A Bitter Blossom I'm not concerned about. Oh, they need to play a land. Pony, you don't play a land, you're gonna be in, you're gonna be in trouble. All right, turn his land, make this. Let's get rid of this Urborg. It's making it difficult to tap for mana. I need exactly one more land, and I think we win. I think the scariest here is Urborg. I could also just give them Urborg and get rid of this Plains. Plains gets a disenchant. Let's kind of do that direction. It's a... I don't think there's an incorrect one here. If they have another Urborg in hand, then this is the more correct line. But I don't think there is a problem with that. I'm not too worried about a double black spell here. Um, I'm not too worried because they're on one mana. And honestly, they'll, they'll lose themselves. I guess they are a token strategy, so our anger is the correct play. Uh, I did not put them on tokens in Bitter Blossom. I put them on... Um, I'm not going to say more powerful, but I, I, a more common list of Eldrazi and Taxes. 
But I guess the concealed courtyard was kind of a little bit of the hint that maybe it wasn't an Eldrazi list. Either way, Blood Moon was fine. All right, we have double black, we have white black as well here. Uh, if they're able to kill the bridge, it's good for them. If we hit a land, I think I'm just gonna go try Lattice here. Let's go ahead and shut off the white here really quick. See if they float. They do not, so I think we've got them here. Them not floating any white mana um, really makes me think that we're, we're completely fine here. They have a single black, and I'm gonna have a Lattice. Let's uh, tap all those, and let's tap all these for black, and we'll make a blue. Sure. Lattice. That should be a hard lock. My opponent will be conceding here momentarily. If they don't concede, we actually win just through them killing themselves with their Bitter Blossom here as well. And that's going to wrap it up for this game. We'll see when our opponent concedes, though. Uh, we can play everything in our deck, so we're never in danger of going above with the bridge for these to attack. So we're... And a long shot, 18 turns away from a win. My opponent may be, like I said, waking up a little new. Maybe they haven't seen this lock. Welcome to modern opponent. Maybe they'll learn uh, a thing or two, and maybe it'll help them in their future game. That does it for match one. Uh, good start. Good start to the challenge. Uh, a little bit of an uneventful list. But the deck uh, steamrolled through and did its thing. We'll see if we can continue to do that. See you in the next match.